Yeah, good morning everybody and thank, uh, thank you all for joining us uh, this morning. As you know, between March and June, June this year, the Sunshine Coast experienced above average rainfall. Given the site management arrangements at the Sunshine Coast Airport that we have in place, uh, this led to significant volumes of water ponding across the project uh, for our new international runway. Council has taken the most cautious and environmentally responsible approach by containing the water on site whilst reviewing all available options for its release. As you would be aware, there has been some uh, minor delays up there because of this ponding of water on site. At the present time, there is approximately 125 megalitres of water ponded on the site. This will only increase if there is further rainfall, so no rain dances, please. And we do not, uh, and we do not put in place if we do not put in place an appropriate and environmentally responsible solution to remove the ponded water from the site, uh, we uh, could face further delays. Council has been working closely with the Queensland Department of Environment and Science on extensive research and investigations to determine the most optimal solution for the removal of water from the site. The, those investigations have involved groundwater modelling, targeted sampling and testing of local groundwater and ponded water, monitoring, sampling and testing of surface water and sediment, sampling and testing of biota in the aquatic environment adjacent to and downstream, downstream of the project site, and there's been ongoing lia liaison with both federal and state authorities. As a result, and with the support of the Department of Environment and Science, Council has decided the ponded water on site is to be released to the ocean. Based on the research undertaken, the release direct to the ocean is the optimum solution as it ensures the stored waters are released at a much greater rate whilst minimising any potential impacts. Importantly, the ocean release is supported by the Department of Environment and Science as being safe for humans, fish species, animals and the environment. Ponded surface water and any extracted groundwater will be tested by a qualified and experienced company and, if required, treated in an on-site water treatment plant to ensure it is below the PFAS National Environmental Management Plan or their NEMP levels prior to its release. This solution is consistent with the prudent and responsible approach that Council has taken with this project since day one. It also ensures we are delivering the best solution for the project and for our ratepayers, whilst acting responsibly in terms of our environmental obligations. We have always gone the extra mile and exceeded the requirements when it comes to our environmental obligations associated with this project. The Department of Environment and Science considers this the most responsible solution and an outcome which not only lowers the risk of bioaccumulation but also minimises the impact of the alternative and unplanned release of fresh water into an estuarine environment. The benefits of proceeding with the ocean release of the ponded water include that it, this is the fastest way to remove ponded water from the project site. Water, because it is the fastest way, water will ultimately have to be removed, um, water that will ultimately have to be removed uh, in some manner. And if we weren't doing it the fastest way and we got more rain and we weren't doing an environmental uh, perspective, as I touched on earlier, it could, could create further delays. It reduces the chance of unco uncontrolled releases into the Maruchi River system. It ensures the airport expansion project timeline is secured. To release the ponded water to the ocean it will require horizontal drilling of a small diameter release pipeline approximately 4.5 metres under the David Low Way at the northern end of the existing runway. The pipeline will run under the sand dunes and the beach area and then under the seafloor for a distance of approximately 400 metres. The pipeline outlet will protrude about 50 centimetres above the seafloor, but at that depth, which is approximately 10 metres, it will not be visible from the beach, obviously. The pipeline installation will not impact the beach or the dune in any way. I can assure our residents that based on the advice Council has received, the discharge of ponded water to the ocean will not pose a risk to humans or the environment. The contaminant levels in the water at the point of release will be almost 200 times below the level considered safe for humans, fish species, animals and the environment, as specified in the PFAS National Environment Management Plan. The Department of Environment and Science have advised it is supportive of the ocean release solution. We anticipate that, weather permitting, the pipeline will be in place by early October and be operating by mid-October. 
The cost to establish the pipeline is estimated to be in the vicinity of $2.5 million, although costings are, are still to be finally determined. The project budget includes allowance for latent conditions that may arise as we move through with this option. Council will fund the cost of the pipeline within the airport expansion project budget allocation, which is funded from borrowings that will be repaid when Council receives the final project payment from Palisade uh, Investment Partners in July of 2022. So there will be no enduring cost to our ratepayers from the delivery of the new runway or the installation of this pipeline. The water will be released about 400 metres off the coastline, as I mentioned a bit earlier. And our residents should be aware, though, that when fresh water is mixed with seawater, a foam can form in the mixing zone, particularly if there is significant wave action to stir it up. We see similar types of things during um, east coast lows and cyclones when we get that foaming on the beach and the kids love playing in it. Depending on weather conditions, the foam may be visible and may appear brown in colour for a short period of time. The foam does not pose a health risk. Council is taking a responsible approach to this matter and is working closely with all relevant authorities. We are satisfied that this, ocean, that this ocean release process represents the most prudent action environmentally, socially and financially. The most recent fine weather had allowed work on the new runway to resume in earnest and we have continued to work with the contractor to mitigate delays. Based on the advice from the contractor, the airport expansion project remains on track to be completed by Christmas 2020.